islands. What is interesting about islands? Isn't it just land, beach, and trees in the middle of the ocean? No, some of the craziest things in the world happen on islands around the world, and nobody knows about them because they're so remote. This is a collection of the most interesting islands I have visited in my life. Trust me, this is a video you want to watch. We found a secret island in the Philippines that is full of identical twins. Here, one in three families has twins, from two-year-olds to 89-year-old twins. In total, this island has 78 pairs of non-identical twins, 22 pairs of identical twins, and even a pair of conjoined twins. How is this possible? Nobody knows and everybody has theories. Maybe it's because of their genes, or their water, or their bananas. So, ang saging na kambal na sinasabi sa aming bayan na pag kumain ka ng kambal at ikinaglilihi, ay magiging kambal ang iyong anak. This mystery twin island feels too weird to be true. But then we went there, we saw it. It's real, it's here, and it's full of happy, identical twins. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. In Japan, there is an island with more cats than humans. No matter where you go on the island, you will find cats on the roofs of homes, outside shops, and even at the entrance of temples. You can also find cat art all over the place. Fishing boys that look like cats and even a cat toilet paper holder. That's not all. They even built a shrine in the middle of the island for cats. But why does this island have so many cats? See, many years ago, the local people on the island were famous for making silk using silkworms. And mice loved eating silkworms. So to get rid of the mice, the locals got a lot of cats. After the mice disappeared, the cats ended up staying there. So the next time you travel to Japan, make sure to visit this island because you'll definitely make a lot of furry new friends. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. Yesterday, my father called me and said, You're lucky you're going to Hawaii. I said, why? Then he replied, Because in Hawaii, there are no snakes. No snakes, 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 snakes. Yes. Turns out my dad is right. The Hawaiian islands are so remote from the rest of the world that here, there are no animals to be scared of. No snakes, no tigers, no hyenas, no lions, no crocodiles. Not here, here, or anywhere in the entire state of Hawaii. The only thing to worry about are tiny bugs, pigs, your neighbor's dog, and a few sharks in the ocean. Tell your dad from my dad that at least on this beautiful island in the middle of the ocean, you are safe! That's one minute, see you tomorrow. Guys, when I was a kid, I thought Hakuna Matata was just in the movie. But turns out there's a real life Hakuna Matata Island. And it's called... Zanzibar! In Swahili, Hakuna Matata means no worries. In this island off the coast of Africa, people live near and with each other. The population is friendly. Hakuna Matata! The beaches and the tides are absolutely beautiful. The clothes are so colorful. And the tortoises here, the second biggest in the entire world. In Zanzibar, where mosques are built right next to churches, where the nature is outstanding and the culture is too, you'll find yourself saying, Hakuna Matata. That's one minute. See you tomorrow.
In Estonia, there is an island that is entirely run by women. Here, the women do all the work, from cooking, to leading, to farming, to running businesses. Why? You see, for years, the men of the island had to go on long fishing journeys in order to make money, leaving the women behind to take care of everything. And they did take care of everything. But when globalization hit the island, the men lost their jobs and the women became the only businessmen, or as we should say, business women. That is how this island now is run by women. Estonia shows us that women can do just as good as men, if not better. So the next time you feel like you cannot do something because it's a man's job or a woman's job, remember the island of women in Estonia. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. Did you know there is a country with no army? No army! No! That's right, this small island nation of Grenada in the Caribbean decided to let go of their army and instead use that money to invest in the country. Welcome to Grenada! The main source of income here is tourism. So instead of building army bases and buying aircraft carriers, they develop beautiful beaches and got yachts and cruise ships. The crime rate here is very low, that the police walk around with no gun. They also invested in chocolate production and make really good chocolate and really good education. This island is home to one of the best universities for medicine. If you ever wondered, how does the world look like if we do not need an army? Well, it'll look something like this. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. I am here at the most populated island in the world. It's called Santa Cruz de Isloti in Colombia, where 500 people live together in the middle of the ocean. And on this island, there is barely any space to live. But don't let that fool you. Despite its size, this island has everything. It has a school system, it has its own hospital, and it has a large supply of alcohol because fishermen like to drink. What the hell? Oh no, it's a lot, it's a lot. It has space for construction, satellite TVs, hotels, electricity, and even its own aquarium. In Santa Cruz de Isloti, you will feel like you're in your own new mini world where everyone is your friend. Except in this world, there's no police, robberies, homicides, or cell service. This is just one big family living on a tiny island. That's all I meant it. Hello from the Flat Earth! Yes, this is the edge of the Flat Earth. Hold on, before we go any further, the Earth is round and Flat Earth is a joke. But, according to a hypothetical flat earth map, one of the corners of the world is located here on an island called Fogel Island in Newfoundland, Canada. This is where some people believe the edge of the flat earth is. So if you jump from here, you'll end up in China or something like that. On this island, you will find an actual museum of flat earth theory. This is the end of the But you will also find 4,000 locals who believe in common sense that the, the earth, earth is, is round. round. Come visit this beautiful island at the edge of the world. But before you do, remember that the earth is round. round. The